festival has a name. It's really good. Um, obviously, it's it's been up, ups and downs uh, all year, but I guess it's as good as it's going to get at the moment. Yeah. First up match against Brisbane Raw. How are you feeling about that one? Um, it's always a great game against Brisbane, um, whether it's the start of the season or at the end of the season. But what I, I think what I love most about this year, it's probably the, it's probably the most excited excited I've been, and, and I think I can speak for the girls with some of the players we have joining us. Um, I mean, you really don't know who's going to win. And, and to be honest, in the past, I've, I've felt that it's been quite predictable with Brisbane or, or Sydney Grand Final. But, I mean, uh, yeah, every game's going to be tough. And uh, the defence looks pretty good this year. We've finally got Thea Slutcher playing in her hometown um, and teaming up with uh, Danielle Brogan. Do you think you do have the toughest defence? We do. Uh, and then along with uh, Savette Uzenlaer as well. Um, and then Caitlin Ford, if, she, if she's right to go. So we do have a very good team, but a uh, team on paper doesn't really mean too much. We need to put it together and uh, score some goals. Welcome to Australia. Two matches. What's that about? Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, uh, Stagnoli only recruited me for two. He said, you can't play anymore. You're not that good. So just two for now, hopefully more next year. Um, being called back to international duty back home, uh, so I only get the two this year. Well, it's lovely to have you here for them. Uh, World Cup final this year was incredible. You're a standout for the, the U.S. team. Was there a lot of press back home for the women? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, some people actually come up and congratulate us. They think that we won. Uh, still in my life. <laughs> no, not quite, but um, it's, it's been unbelievable. I think that the, you know, the level uh, of awareness for women's football, not only back home but across the world, um, is just that much higher with the, you know, the Amazing World Cup in Germany, and it's been unbelievable for us. And how did you end up coming to Australia for the W League? Um, just on holidays at the moment. Um, and I've, I've actually been here, this is my third year in a row, coming on holidays around this time, um, and, and Stadge finally let me play. So. I've been, train, I've been training it? player for three years now, so it's finally let me get out there. And uh, have you got any knowledge of the W League? I do, yeah. Um, I've, I've been to quite a few games, at least uh, in the Sydney area. Um, it's, it's pretty cool to see you know, how much the league has grown and, and the players that are coming into the league. Um, quite a few of my friends from America have actually played here um, and report back good things. So it's pretty exciting to actually be able to put a jersey on.